All right, now we're going to tell you guys about uh, Marketplace. So I'm going to let Jen, you know, tell you kind of the how this idea came about. And then we're going to share some slides that we showed um, everybody at Mastermind. You guys are going to get to see some of these slides. And then I'll, I'll give you guys kind of timeline for what everything looks like. So go ahead. Yeah, so this idea really came sort of out of a need, I feel like, for this industry. I mean, we've had so many company owners in our office. It seemed like there was a stretch where it was every single week, sometimes twice a week, people were showing up at our door and basically trying to figure out how they're going to not only stay alive in the industry, but also how can they be a part of innovation? How can they be a part of changing times? How can they, you know, take their company really to the next level when people are, I mean, shopping on Amazon, they're shopping on e-commerce websites now. And, you know, when network marketing started, the word of mouth industry, which is still a massive industry, of course, but it was very manual. And now as technology has evolved, it's more automatic now. And we have to be in a place where we can adapt and evolve with the time. So this idea really came out of um, our house of brands idea, which has just kind of evolved to the next level. The next level of this is really just collaboration. The future really is all about collaboration. Initially, when we were trying to figure out, you know, what are we going to do next? You know, what's next on the plate here for us? We wanted to create a situation where it's a win-win for everybody. And we really feel like with Marketplace, this creates a win-win for not only just network marketing companies and ourselves, of course, but also for e-commerce and major resale brands as well. So the way I see it is, I, I, what I see in the future is a collaboration of industries, not just companies within network marketing, but major industries, I feel like is gonna be a big collaboration in the future. And quite frankly, it's easier on the operational, from an operational standpoint, it's easier from being able to work with leadership because now you can tap into different leaders all around the world. It's easier um, for fulfillment purposes for international as well. And honestly, when we're going up against a monster like Amazon, and it's so easy to shop on Amazon. You know, we wanted to create a situation where we think we do things a little bit differently. We do things what we feel is the right way, but we also create that ease of shopping environment and bring that to the network marketing industry. So we have some uh, slides we want to share with you guys on this. And Josh can elaborate a little bit from his perspective. So my perspective was kind of like, you know, how do we make this easier and make sense? House of Brands is so hard to do operationally when you have 10 brands that you want to evolve all at the same time. But if you have outside brands coming in, you could scale that to hundreds or thousands of brands just like that. And now our leadership always has something fresh to talk about, right? You don't have shiny ball syndrome. You don't have to look at other companies because everything is literally in-house. And you've seen hot products fly by night in the network marketing industry before. And then something happens operationally where it becomes a challenge and our favorite products sometimes disappear. What if you could keep the products without um, all the operational stuff attached to it and kind of put it all into one place? So we're thinking we want to bring the hottest brands, the hottest products all under one roof and the products that have a conscious, you know, we want to do something good for the world. We don't want to just put up, you know, cheap products that you can get anywhere, but we want to put products in front of people that have good attached. So that's kind of the bigger vision behind this all. And I'll let Josh share a little bit from his perspective. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, I think you hit the nail on the head with like this, this thing she's holding up is a magazine from the direct selling news, the DSN and, and the cover of it is cracking the Amazon code. Everybody right now in the industry is trying to figure out how to make their business more e-commerce friendly because everybody wants to everybody wants to create more customer acquisition. They want more people shopping in their store. And you know, right now, you know, Amazon, as an example, they did over 500 billion last year. So they've taken a huge market share um, you know, for everybody because to Jenna's point, like it's easy to shop there. There's millions of SKUs. And so we were thinking like, why hasn't this ever been done in network marketing? Why hasn't somebody come together and said, look, we're going to put the hottest brands together through a marketplace, but do it through word of mouth with you know our model? Because the one thing that we have that Amazon will never have is relationships and people. 
and being able to network and build those relationships, they AI and all that stuff will never replace that. And so we have an army of loyal affiliates and leaders that are going to promote and uh, you know purchase and sell um, these amazing products. And so this slide's pretty cool about you know some of these e-commerce stats just to illustrate how big e-commerce is. is. Is there anything you wanted to touch on before we? I was we... just going to say Amazon does five hundred billion dollars a year, five hundred billion. But the entire network marketing industry does $200 billion a year. And they don't have an army of sellers. They have some sellers. They don't get as paid as well as we do in the network marketing industry. So what if we did something similar but made it better and we, and we were able to tap in to some of that market share? That's really what this slide is kind of all about. Yeah, so look at some of these stats. Right now, 20% of retail purchases are, are expected to take place online in 2023. So the one thing that happened through... The pandemic is people realized, you know, if you're a brick and mortar store, you're like, hey, I got to convert my whole thing to online. And so 20, per, you know, 20.8 percent of retailers are like making the shift to, to e-commerce. And then they're saying that by 2026, that number is only going to continue to grow, you know, to 25 percent. That's a quarter of all of, of all retail business is going online. And then the global e-commerce market you know, this year is going to do 6.3 trillion, but just, you know, a, you know, three years later by 2026, it's going to be over 8.1 trillion. So the numbers don't lie. There's no question that in the future, everything is going to be e-commerce and online. So as a network marketing company, we have to, we have to be able to pivot with the times. We have to make our business more adapt to e-commerce shopping for the average consumer that's looking to buy products and if they're coming from like an Amazon or an e-commerce store, they already have an experience that they're used to that we want to replicate. Easy to shop, easy to have your uh, your product, you know, shipped to your doorstep, free shipping, like all the initiatives we've been, you know, doing over the last, you know, couple of months is all leading up to this point um, right now. And so what is, what is Marketplace? Basically, Marketplace uh, is the ability for external brands, brands that we don't own, um, to apply, get approved, and be able to sell their products in MDC. It's still one shopping cart. It's one comp plan. Everything has volume on it. Um, and what's nice about this model is, you know, to Jenna's point, like the scalability of it's crazy. Like we already have, um, there's seven brands that have been closed. So I was talking about this at Mastermind. It took us eight years to launch 10 brands. We've closed seven brands for Marketplace and we haven't even launched it yet. So what does that tell you? Like there's there's already 50 to 100 brands in the pipeline that want to sell an MDC. Once this thing get, gets launched, that number is going to, that number is going to go up and up and up. And so what I think is going to happen is you're going to see all of these brands, different products, different categories, all coming into the shopping cart in an MDC. So you'll still be able to have your favorite products that you love, whether it's Mantra, FFX, uh, Cosmicology, Hempworks, that doesn't change. What happens is it just opens up a whole new world of, of categories that they're going to have access to. One thing to. I want to say on that, though, is that doesn't mean we're committed to our brands forever, okay? Because if they don't sell, then we're not going to keep them forever. We only want to keep what's hot, what's relevant, and what people are purchasing. So as you see brands begin to shift and change through our marketplace, just keep in mind that some are going to be coming in and some are going to be coming out. There's no way we could keep everything forever, right? Our warehouse is only as big as it is, but we want to only put the products that people really want in front of them and you know, cut the fat, right? We don't want things that aren't, aren't popular, aren't moving, and aren't exciting. And so this is how the marketplace is going to kind of split off. So you're going to have what we call our preferred brands. You know, so look, just like Amazon, Amazon has brands that are Amazon brands, Amazon Essential. Essentials, Amazon Basics is another yeah. one, right? So they have their own, they have their own brands, but then there are merchants that are on Amazon as well, selling similar products. And so our marketplace is going to split off the same way where we're going to have our preferred brands. These are brands we own, they're brands we've designed, we've developed, and we're going to continue to do that. So there may be additional preferred brands that we launch uh, in the future. 
preferred brands, like the brands you guys are used to, will always have higher BV. They're always going to be higher volume because we own them. We don't have to pay anybody you know, for them. So we can put the maximum amount of money into the compensation plan as possible. Then when it splits off the other direction, you have brand partners. Now, brand partners could be um, network marketing companies. They could be e-commerce brands. They could be other companies looking to plug their products into MDC. And these are brands that we have a uh, we have an agreement with where a couple things in the agreement. One, we have exclusivity in the MLM channel for their product for the term of the agreement. Um, you know, they can't under, they can't sell it cheaper outside of our store. So think about that. We have the cheapest the cheapest price available on the internet of that product and nobody else can sell it in MLM for the term of of our agreement with that brand. So you guys have that stickiness to be able to say nobody else can sell it and this is the cheapest price available. Um, now brand partner products will have lower BV because in order for us to uh, basically do these deals with all of these brands around the world, we have to uh, give them a piece of the revenue. And so there's less margin available um, compared to like our preferred brands where there's like super high volume on, on some of them. But the way I look at it is it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's going to get MT MDC into so many more categories that we've never been in before. So even though the product has less volume, well, you are never in that category. So now you can sell deodorant and now you can sell this category and now you can sell all of these other categories. So there's going to be two types of, of mentality out there. You're going to have the um, the scarcity mentality, and then you're going to have the abundance mentality. So here's the scarcity mentality. Some leaders are going to be like this. Well, I'm only going to promote the preferred brands because they have the highest volume in the comp plan. So don't promote those other products because these have the highest volume. That to me is not the right way to, to build a business. Um, then you're going to have the abundance mentality and those are going to be people that are like, look, I'm going to go out and create a 50 to one customer affiliate ratio in MDC or a hundred to one customer rep to ratio. Like I'm going to have, if I have a, a hundred uh, affiliates in my downline, I'm going to have a thousand customers from those a hundred, a hundred affiliates. And I'm going to leverage everything. So think about this. Everybody right now is spending money um, on e-commerce, Amazon for their essential items for, for everything. And why wouldn't you want that business? Why wouldn't you want to transfer where people are spending their money outside of the MDC store, right? Transfer it right into MDC. So they're transferring where they spend and they're going to have access to so many different products, different categories. Um, I, I think it's going to be absolutely incredible. And again, we have so many brands in the pipeline. So um, one thing I yeah. want to say too is this is going to be kind of a crazy concept because in, I mean, it's historical. In, in network marketing, it's always been, you know, my juice is better than your juice or my travel portal is better than your travel portal, right? Like we're very like competitive in this industry. We're always chess beating. We're always like, I'm planting my flag, all of this. Well, what I want to bring to you guys is we're, we have no ego. Like we are not afraid to compete against ourselves within our own environment. So if you see, like, let me give you an example. If you go to Amazon right now and you type in jeans, you're not going to get just one brand of jeans, right? You're going to get multiple brands of jeans. That really gives the person the opportunity to shop freely. They actually have a choice. You're going to find Levi's. You're going to find Gap. You're going to find the Amazon brand. You're going to find random brands you never even heard of, right? There's all kinds of different competitors within the same environment, right? And so at first we were like, well, we can't launch that because we already have this kind of product. We can't launch that because we already have this kind of product. And then we're like, but why do we care? Like Amazon, like, Amazon does it. Why? Everybody does it. Yeah, like why not? So like you, it may get to the point, right? And I think it will, it's going to get to the point where you type in essential oils into my daily choice. You may have hundreds of things come up that really gives you the opportunity. I always joke with Josh. I'm like, we're called my daily choice. Shouldn't we be giving people a choice, right? And this really gives people a choice because we're not afraid of it. Hey, if there's a brand that outsells one of our preferred brands, we're cool with it, right? That's amazing actually, because that means our 
our, our people customers are want happy. that product. Right. Yeah. They get to vote with their dollars what they really want. And that provides us a lot of insight into how we can improve as operators. And so why marketplace? So a couple of things I'll point out is, so one, we, and we just kind of talked about this, gets us into new categories, right? We're going to expand like some of the brands that we talked about at the mastermind event. We're not in any of those categories. Like one is, I'm not going to give you the, um, the name of this brand, but there's a product that the leaders were going crazy about that immediately extinguishes a fire. You spray it onto a fire and the fire immediately it goes out prevents and it prevents a fire, fire too you can treat it pre-treat it and extinguish so you can spray it around your campfire you can spray it on textiles clothes. clothing your kids clothing um and it will a fire won't it if just it won't if ignite you're, if you're building a home you can treat the wood before your house is like completely built. you can treat your attic with it and so like again this is a category we're not in totally new it's a weird category like ffx you know, but um, it has the potential to be to be massive. And there's a lot of products like that. Um, so, you so, you know, as a leader, as all these brands come out, you just have more of a variety of brands and products to offer. But the, the key to it is learning as a leader how to pivot and how to introduce different products and brands to your audience. That's the key that, you know, as leaders, we need to um, we need to get really good at that. So instead of like, hey, I'm the FFX team and that's all I am and that's all I'll ever be, like start introducing other products to your network because you don't know which product is going to take off. Like I was just doing a Zoom call and it was with a ton of leaders that that are excited about Akashics. But I can guarantee you that once those leaders start building a team, they're going to have people in their group that want other products. That happens in every network marketing company. People buy all these products online anyway. So um, number three is it'll drive sales. Four, great PR and brand exposure. Five, um, scalable. And six, um, international expansion. Any of these you want to touch on before we move on? Uh, you guys are going to see us kick it up a notch on the PR side in a big way. So our game plan is to give you guys so much ammo, like you, you're going to be able to go to the internet, you're going to go to your, everybody you know, and this is going to make such big news all over the place that you guys are, have first movers advantage with this. You know, this is something that's never been done in network marketing correctly. There have been companies that have tried, but with our technology behind it, I mean, this is one of a kind, it's first of its kind. And you guys are going to have so many things to talk about that I really feel like the momentum is just starting and it's about to be just bananas. And then uh, one thing about international expansion that I really like, I was talking with like the Hungarian leaders and some of the other leaders at the mastermind event. So typically when we launch a product in a new market, we have to look at product registrations. We have to look at importing. There's licensing. You know, there's all these things that go into launching a product in a market and usually we have to wait for there to be some sort of sales or momentum, or maybe we have a, if we have a 3PL warehouse there, you know, we can bring some products in through NFR, but um, you know, it's a process, but some of these brands are already in the international markets. Their inventory is already in different countries. Like there's brands that we're looking at in Europe. There's brands we're looking at in Asia there's brands in Africa, there's brands everywhere that already have inventory in these markets. They're already registered. They already have product licenses and they're interested in the marketplace. So plugging those brands in um, gives us immediate products to sell in certain countries that we would never be able to get some of our uh, products into. So this is a very interesting concept, even for um, the international side of the business. I see us in the future, bringing in tons of international brands um, as we grow in certain places, like in Europe. Europe's a great market for us. Um, you know, right now we've got a massive group in Europe that we could bring in tons of brands uh, in in that market. So um, again, this is the why, and and we're really excited about where we can take this. And so uh, let's talk timeline. Uh, timeline to launch real quick. So. Marketplace is launching this month in May. So we've been working on this, just so you know, for a very long time. Um, the tech 
behind this is very complicated. It took a long time to build, and it's finally here, ready to ready to be deployed. Um, so there's a couple steps. Um, step number one is uh, we have to launch our new corporate website. That's step one because the new corporate website has the infrastructure built for us to bring in, you know, these uh, these additional brands. So so right now we're doing this week we're doing final review of the new corporate website and either by Friday or early next week the new corporate website will go live. Um this website I mean you can see this is the home page. Um the home page is amazing. It looks so much better. There you can shop easily by category. It's got like scrolls of the brands. Um it shows our house of brands. There's featured products. What I love about it is it's intuitive. So if you're already used to shopping online, it should feel very similar to that. So there's not a lot of having to think about where something is. It'll be very obvious and simple to use. And then um, this is the shopping cart. So a couple of things I want to point out in the shopping cart is if you can see on the bottom left of this screenshot, there's a shop by brands. So this is really important to have in a marketplace because we want people to be able to search really any brand that's that's in the marketplace. So there's new filtering, um, the shop by brands. Um, also, um, new arrivals is is a new concept for us that we haven't had previously with um, our current site. Um, so new arrivals is going to be really important because let's say we're launching five brands a month or three brands a month or however many brands we need a place for all of our all of our new stuff that's coming in. So you can see on the top left, daily deals, new arrivals, um, top sellers. Um, you can also see there's these little yellow icons. The yellow icons will represent preferred brands. So um, if you see a yellow icon, that'll mean preferred brands. And if it doesn't have a yellow icon, that means it's a, um, it's a brand uh, partner. Um, anything you wanna share about this or we're gonna nope. keep going? Okay. Then brand directory. Um, this is kind of cool because this was actually, I think, your idea uh, to have a directory. Because when you go into like a mall, there's a directory, and you can search for, um, you know, any of the any of the stores uh, inside the mall. And so we need that too. So the way that this will work is um, every brand will be in the brand directory, where you'll see like a logo or image of the brand, its description. If the, if it has a video, you'll be able to watch the video. Um, but if you click on learn more, then it kind of opens up like a mini store for that brand where you can see like just their product collection, read the reviews. It'll take them straight to the brand store. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, she had a great idea the other day to have like a documentation page for each brand where, you know, you could see like their assets, PDFs. Um, each brand uh, store is going to have an about section. And in that about section, you'll see the brand directory or so you'll see the uh, documentation all about that brand, basically. So if you're brand new, you've never been to this website before, My Daily Choice, and you want to know about HempWorks, you can go to HempWorks' brand store within My Daily Choice, and you can see all the documentation, why the brand, our philosophy about every single thing. So for those of you who are going to be looking for that, I just want to let you know it's still going to be there, but it's going to be within the brand store. Awesome. And then um, brand partner program. So the way that new brands will apply to sell in MDC will be through the website. So in the footer of the website, there's going to be an application process. Um, everything is automated. So we have set the tech up in such a way where, you know, brands can apply right on the site, get onboarded by our team. And um, we have to review them. We're not taking every brand. Um, and look, we also, I just want to make this clear. We don't want you know, we don't want affiliates in the company becoming the brand acquisition team. Do not search for brands. Don't go out. We have a, we have a team right now. We have some really smart veterans in this industry that have filled a pipeline already of 100 plus brands. We're, we have more brands to review than we know what to do with. We need leaders building their group, building the biggest team possible, um, creating a massive amount of customer acquisition. That's where you're going to make the most money. Um, but I just wanted to show that there is a way for um, brands to apply through the site and um, and get boarded. And so um, let's uh, let's just end with this. So we talked about um, timelines, right? So this week we launched the website. 
we have our Mother's Day promo that we're running right now um, through through May 14th. So our goal is to get the website live first and then start introducing um, these brands uh, through the marketplace. And so we have um, some press releases that are already scheduled that are going to go out. Um, the first press release will be just introducing the marketplace. Um, then some of the individual brands will be um, will be introduced. Um, I believe um, right after the Mother's Day promo, you'll start to, to see some of these brands uh, get introduced. And the only thing that that is needed is we have to get uh, we have to get inventory. So right now um, we've signed we've signed seven brands on board. That's like deals. That's like deals signed, contracts done. Everything everything is good. These seven brands, um, but we can't go live until we have the uh, website live. The integrations done. Their inventory in house. But that's all happening. You know this month. Um, some brands may be, uh, maybe in June, um, you know, like mid June, but we're, we're looking to have some of them launch this month. I'll tell you just, um, some of the categories that we're getting in. We have a really cool, uh, eye wrinkle cream that we're excited about where, um, you can visibly see. If you've been in network marketing for at least 10 years, you've already seen this product. You know it works. You've seen the testimonies. And now we're going to have access to it. Yeah. We have a um, spray on makeup uh, line that Jen's been using. Actually, like I, for sure, at first I'm like, no, cosmetology, that's it. And then I'm like, let me try it. I'm actually really impressed because I, I didn't think that you could spray on your foundation and your bronzer and your shimmer and a primer and all that. Like, like it's crazy how professional it looks. It looks like I had just came out of like going to see a makeup artist and like event stage quality. And that's actually how it was formulated. It was formulated for celebrities. It was formulated for celebrities actually that have super sensitive skin that came out of like a treatment or something and that needed to be on set, you know, immediately after. So they created this so that you don't have to use brushes. You're not using getting bacteria on your face and stuff like that. Um, spray, super clean. Um, super amazing coverage. And like I said, I had mixed feelings because I know we have a cosmetic brand, but I, I could see us using both. And um, like I said, the coverage is phenomenal. And the way that it just stays all day is also just amazing. We also have a, um, we have a non-GMO keto weight loss coffee uh, that that's uh, <laughs> being launched in the marketplace. We have a detox tea and um, that brand has some other really cool products, um, you know, in addition to the detox tea, um, there's a um, there's a drink that uh, it's a powder scoop. You scoop it into into water and it's a, it's 100 percent of your daily value of all your central vitamins and, and minerals. And it also has seven immune boosting ingredients in it as well. So it's really your immunity and your daily health. Um, so excited about um, uh, about that brand. There's the fire product that uh, super interesting product. I think it's going to come in 32, um, 32 ounce uh, spray cans. Um, eventually we can get it um, into an aerosol can. And when it's in the aerosol can, you can, you can spray that aerosol can and, and it shoots out like a rocket and it'll put a fire out. Like imagine, um, you know, imagine like fire departments, you know, having access to that and, you know, like what what they were doing with the fire product. I'll tell you this real quick, and then and then we'll wrap up. Is um, they actually are are doing some testing in prisons because in prisons, you know, the inmates are lighting they're lighting like toilet paper on fire, and they're lighting like their mattresses on fire, and so they're doing some testing in prisons where you know the uh, guards can have it like clipped onto their belt and just like literally go through. The little like peepholes and spray a fire out or spray you know the mattresses beforehand be yeah because you know if there's a fire in a prison everybody gets out right so so imagine this a prisoner lights you know lights his toilet paper on fire and tries to light the mattress and he's like what the hell this is not lighting <laughs> um that product is amazing we demoed it here at at the office in a 55 gallon drum with a pair of jeans you know, one side was treated, the other side was not treated. The side that was not treated completely lit in flames. The side that was treated with a blowtorch right on the jeans would not ignite. I mean, it was like unlike anything I've ever seen. So we're you excited need, about. You need this product in your car. You need it in your kitchen. If you have an you RV. Need it in a couple places in your home. Um, 
yeah, like everybody needs it. So for sure. So there's that product. And then there's, um, there are some other really good nutritional products, um, some daily vitamin uh, products that are going to be um, in the line. We're looking at a whole flower CBD product um, as well. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of really amazing um, products that are all going to be introduced. So you'll start to see after the website goes live, um, it's go time for us to start getting these brands um, up and running. So we wanted to give you guys this update, kind of share the vision with you. Um, but I see like within the next 12 to 24 months, NBC is going to have over 100 brands. And um, this thing is going to take off like a rocket, guys. I've never seen the type of excitement and interest with these brands. Like everybody is trying to sell in MDC right now. And you guys are going to be able to take advantage of all of that um, with volume on every product, able to make commissions. Once we get these big brands to come in, like we left one important thing out. Oh, go ahead. House of Impact. Oh this yeah, it's so ahead. big. Like we can't just like ignore this part. So this is huge. It, at least for me, it's a big deal. So you guys are seeing this right now. You get a bottle or a carton of Horizon Milk, for example. You look at it. The back it says, you know, we're carbon neutral, and by 2025 we're going to be carbon positive. You go buy a bottle Evian bottled water. Says so the same thing on the back. You're seeing this in our everyday marketing. On, on retail shelves right now. So imagine if every purchase that you made in My Daily Choice, a part, a part of the sale is going towards doing good. You're feeding kids, you're planting trees, you're um, taking plastic bottles out of the ocean. Something good is coming from every single purchase that you're already doing. So now let's use an example. You, If you're buying pads on Amazon, who knows what you're supporting, right? You don't know. We don't know where the profits are going. They keep a lot of that. I don't know what they do with it. But if you buy through My Daily Choice, same, not the same products, but better products, you're going to be doing good for the whole planet, not just for yourself, but for everybody else that lives on Earth as well. So I'm super excited about that part. House of Brands and House of Impact are going to be going you know, together. And it's going to be like gamified in a, in a sense where um, you know, there's going to be like different like badges and awards and things like that, but also the the metrics of it to be able to track it it'll be where like you could look at your order history and see like hemp works i planted three trees this this order went to this this order went to that and so um so then it's like we are better than e-commerce because not only do we have all the products but all of the people can earn money for selling the products but then all of the consumers are doing good for the world and um, that's going to take MDC to multiple billions uh, in revenue without a shadow of a doubt. So we're super excited. Can't wait to get all this unveiled to you guys. Um, be a little patient. It's a, it's like it's we're we're forging a new territory in this industry and um, we're ready for all of it. So thank you guys so much for attending this webinar. Can't wait to get this out live and um, love you guys all. And I uh, can't wait to have a massive, a massive May and uh, continue to crush it in 2023. Congratulations again to everybody who had a big April, and uh, we'll see you guys all at the top. See you, everybody.